I bet when this is all over, and we find out Darling was behind it, that man is bound to stab. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The thunder's come to sorts you. Happiness comes, wiper. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice, really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office and something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are a worm through time. The thunder's come to sorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls with yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror of the inverted is made right. If you're going to stand by the door, push the thing through the worm through time.
was awesome. Projector. The expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. There was a doorway here, to where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side? Projector's not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars, like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. 
It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. And Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and, and the number 36. The topography of... Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We 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 we've built Was a that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. Casper, darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. But after this, I won't, I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is, it's changing me. I, I've seen so much. Slide Skate 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. It's oh, terrifying. It really is. It's another source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I should have told you. 
to love me anymore. I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. Hi. I made it.
Poster comes down, and there's nothing there. It's just the cell and death. I was wrong. There was never anything there. Hello, Polaris, are you there? Please, Please. 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 Please.
Why do they keep you around? Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau's the best at what it does, protecting everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming that she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? I'll do what it means. The nerve of this woman. What does she think she is? I guess someone has to take it to him. I don't have one in my head. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Great. I was just waiting for my mail. Just leave it on the desk there, please. <clears throat> please, take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. Very good. What? What is happening? I don't like this. No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. So keep trying. You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. We've been invaded. I must act. I have a plan. An answer. I'll take the slide projector to the nostalgia department. I'll turn it on. I'll bring the hiss in. I'll fix this. I can hear them. Plotting against me. We've been invaded, corrupted. I've lost Darling. 
He was the first to go. He's been exposed to Hedrin's resonance. It controls him now. It controls everyone who wears the amplifier device. I ordered them not to use the damn things. They didn't listen. Hedrin corrupted the Bureau. They'll never be people again. They're either dead or they're monsters. I'll stop them. I have a secret ally. The Nostalgia Department. I have my own slide for the projector. I took it. A memento. In ordinary. After the girl burned them. It's burnt, but it'll work. The hiss will save us all. I, um, lost my train of thought. I, I, um, it, it's confused. Like, uh, somebody you know, switching channels too fast. But, uh, I, I, I see so much, but it's, it's, it's too fast. On the expedition through the slide, something got into my ear, and it hurt at first. But then it didn't. It uh, started as a, a distant whisper, like something you hear in a, a dream, like a faraway voice calling you to wake up. I'd open my eyes with those, those words still on my lips. In the dream, they had made perfect sense, but awake, they're like a, like a foreign language, already forgotten. Then the sense of loss hits, like losing a child, like losing yourself. You see, I was being taught a song poem, a prayer that would light up my world and, and make me break through, make all this pain worth it. Something once lost was found and it made a home in me, a spring with like waves carving me and making me see and it grew until it filled me. And I receded deeper into myself, into this office, locked in, in this oldest house, which is my uh, aging body. I stared in awe through the people, and I was filled with knowledge and made better you know, I uh, often feel like I'm <clears throat> being watched. Yeah, like there's someone watching me. They can see me, but I can't see them. I remember it was like, like this dream I had last night. See, there was, a, there was this man mm -hmm, here in this very room. And then well, sometimes he was a, a plumber unclogging the drain and then, well, because there was a fish stuck there. Yeah, a big fish. But sometimes he was, he was an old god, you see, and, and he had put the fish there in, in the, uh, the first place to, uh, well, to, to, to keep the waste. Th there was rising waste uh, from leaking out. So he was, um, oh, he was, he was conflicted, but he, but, but he knew many things. But he was, he, he was also sort of senile, like me. It, it was more like a, it was like a, a riddle or, or, or an omen. But it, it wasn't a very good one or, or an interesting one. But, but I, I get so confused so easily. I, um, it, it's, it's, it's so very hard to. To follow every, everything that's happening. I won't let them win. 
That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. Burrowing in, I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. I need to get to Trench's office. Fuck this shit! I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. <laughs> I need my gun. Beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. Hello. This is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the end game. It will be revealed. Dead 
I can't feel you. I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere I want to go? Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there, and she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. No going back. We need to find the projector. This ends here. My sister had this dream, a bad dream, and the whole world was dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. To save her. Still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know, because that's how it was for me.
Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... and I. Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. survivors be hiding inside? It's po Boston. I remember a report about a similar incident from 84. The Bureau lost contact with the whole department. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but 
My research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... A... really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. to stop the hiss, right? Sounds like she can really handle things. Finally, someone had the balls to take the fight to them. I'll be here waiting for you when you wake up, brother. Actually, I agree. If you wake up. <laughs> 